Good morning. I'm in uh, Yokohama, and as you can see, there's a ring around behind me, and that's actually a hot spring foot bath. Um, spending the first night in a place called Manyo Club, and Manyo Club is like a has a hot spring, and it has. Uh, like little hotel rooms, but they also have little couches and different things that you can enjoy. I would probably consider it, it's actually the first, one of the first hot springs Alex and I discovered in 2005 when we lived here in Yokohama. And I would say one of the best. It's really nice. You pay a fee, you come in, um, and if you live here, you just come in for a few hours, enjoy the hot springs, and there's a communal common area very similar to how the Korean hot springs work where there's a men's section and a women's section and you do your bath and then you come out in a bathrobe that's what I'm kind of wearing right now I've got this kind of pajama kind of thing and then you wander around to the different sections and there's like a massage section foot massage or there are couches to sit on which have TVs embedded in them there's a restaurant, and there's a bar, and there's a computer gaming place. So, first night in Japan, that's where we're staying. Um, it's an like overcast day, so as I pass around, we might be able to see the components of what is Yokohama. Let's see. I get the light going. There's the bridge behind me. World's tall. Oh, mistaken. I was going to say world's tallest. That's actually uh, Japan's tallest building, landmark tower. Had to live in Japan, leave the country, and the last time I came to uh, Japan, I actually visited that um, that tower. That's what happens when you live in the area, you don't visit the tourist places.